Okay, let's start our uh, first session of ours. Uh, in, uh, in this session, I will try to give you some uh, um, background of ours, uh, how ours its works, and uh, how R is important for us to, uh, in uh, nowadays in uh, learning technology and new language. And then uh, I will uh, give you some suggestion to arrange your data on Excel sheet. And we will also move to the R uh, softwares. And so I will show you that so how its structure and how many component it has. So you in this lecture, you basically will uh, understand the R program. So uh, let's start our sessions. So my sound is clear to all of you. So yes, it's clear, Doctor Sir. Okay, okay. Thank you, Doctor. So what we have problem with our data? So it's a very uh, we have uh, we collect data from our experiment. Sometimes it's a one year, two year, even three year data in a, especially in PhD research. So uh, sometimes in research station also they have uh, multiple years data. So uh, it's a very difficult for students and researcher to have large data and they can they cannot present their data in graphics and table in few manners. So when they do not understand their data and they surely will not able to present this data in a good way. And when they not present their good way in publication in thesis, so many, many errors come out and sometimes rejections in our publications. So in other softwares and uh, different softwares uh, commonly people are using, they are not able to deal with the that data. If they, they have to multiple Excel sheets, so they, they will have uh, even my uh, even one uh, our student uh, PhD, he gave me his data to, for analysis. So he has 40 Excel sheet is three year PhD data and 40 Excel sheet. So you can imagine how to deal 40 Excel sheet and how these, how to understand this sheet and how to understand our data and present data. He was very in trouble. But when we have arranged this data in one Excel sheet and we do all his analysis with our program, we do a statistical analysis and it's graphical presentation through ours. It become easy to understand and present. So his papers are in a good, uh, international journals in process. Hopefully it will be published soon. So learning of ours, the first purpose is to understand your data and we will see that how we can draw descriptive statistic and uh, summary of our data and head and tail function different or give you in a single line commands and your data will be explored easily. So first thing is uh, our student face uh, our faculty phase to deal with large data set with multiple factors, two factor, three factor and more than three factors data. So they have problem to dealing with that. So it's a solution R can easily deal with large data set. And second one is the missing value. So sometimes we do experiment and some of our, our replication in especially in lab studies, they are destroyed or in the, some to heavy rain. So that we, that's we are not able to take data of some replications. So are in other softwares when you put this data, they give you errors that your values are missing and your data is not complete. So then they do not perform the analysis and graphics in a good way. But in ours in our we deal with missing values. If you have two replication and one is missing, so R can deal it with easily. So with the R we can deal with the missing values. And then outliers. Outlet some data is uh, when you see that the data is not normal. The data has some outliers. It's mean, median modes are not in the same positions. So uh, it's a very difficult when you have. I said earlier that we you have 40 sheets and how you can see the outliers in that data. So it's a very difficult, but in R you will see that in one line command and uh, in very simple three or four lines we can deal with and uh, deal with the that data. 
And next is selection of right model. Uh, you have data, you have uh, collected data, and you do not know which uh, appropriate model is uh, will work for you, or it will draw a true conclusion for you. So in R, we will see that how we can draw a right uh, and we can select a right model for data analysis. And other more thing is that in international publications, R software is reliable for your analysis. When you give reference of R softwares and its packages, so people rely on it. People rely on it and your publication get more chances to accept. And then is the quality of statistical tables and then statistically your uh, statistical design and your statistical tables are in a not a uh, good form. So the editors and reviewers of the International Journal do not like uh, publications and uh, thesis like such reports. Uh, so R gives you a quality. So give you a better way to present statistical tables and uh, in graphics. And then it's the quality of graphic. I said earlier that stat your data collections and that data analysis and then its presentation as a statistical tables and in graphics. So these both decides your publication proceed for further or it will be rejected at the editor end. So that are more important and these all problems we will discuss and we will deal with the we will understand our data. We will deal missing values with the data and quality of statistical tables. You will see and quality of graphics we will meet during this training. You will see that we have quality difference from that. So here I also show you. One publications my publication press published in a American Society of Economy. So I show you that uh, how quality matters. That is uh, that is our study with product economy application of biochars and inorganic nitrogen applications. So it's published in American Society of Agronomy. And you can see that so we have. Uh, this is our climate data. That was present our two years data. And this is our two years data and you see, can see that the how quality of matters. This is uh, and this is the probability tables uh, with the 2014 and 15 and 2015 and 16. So. And this is our graphic quality. And you can say that how you can try true conclusion and true when you present your data in a good way. So it's a not a big study. It's a simple study and we have do biochar and inorganic nitrogens. So it's published in a very high impact and there is uh, society journals are very, very difficult to press, uh, publish such papers. And this is from our Pakistani research. So I said that the quality matters when you present your data, you have organized your data. And this is also the, the statistical tables and you can see that uh, how lettering is present here. You can see that A, B, C, D. Uh, if you uh, see the other papers from developing countries, you will see lettering A, A to Z, A, B, C, D, Z. So they are very, very not looking good. So when you when you see that these are how a lettering was made, so they will not did good impressions on reviewers and editors point of view. So the main purpose is see that this we have do all analysis in our softwares through this. And this is the you can see the benefit cost ratio we have calculated from these our softwares and. These things uh, in training we are going to and how we can made all these graphics and how we can produce quality in a such a manner. So, so that's uh, now what uh, some uh, introductions of ours. Uh, uh, R is a programming language for statistical computing and graphing. Uh, this is developed by our core team and our foundation for statistical computing. Ross and Roberts, uh, these were two uh, statisticians in 1992 who developed this software. And this is coding software. So uh, R is used by data. 
bioinformations and statistician for data analysis and developing. So basically R, R was given name on the initial letters of Ross and Robert. So R is a statistical programs and we can do our uh, understand our data. We can do statistical analysis and we can make graphics. So uh, importance of R, why R is important, why we are here is to learn R softwares. And uh, this is uh, 21 softwares in the world and currently using for primary as a primary tool, secondary tool, and frequently use R softwares. And in 20 softwares, R is the on the top position. And R is the future of data analysis. If you know the R's, you can deal with your data more easily and you can understand your data and you can present your data in most effective ways. So uh, our importance, uh, it's a free software. Other software need a huge money, which our students or our faculty members even cannot pay in $300, $400. And it's a new version come out and they also demand some money. So we cannot pay this money, but our software is free of, of cost. No, and time efficient. I said that you can deal with the four, five, 10 years data in a very short time. Uh, other analysis, uh, analysis which needs a uh, weeks and month you can deal or within days or in if you are efficient with the hours you can deal within hours so it's a time efficient as a uh, uh, publication quality i uh, saw you the, my papers that how it's uh, data were present in that papers and how it's published in a highly good impact factor journal and good quality journals and a most important thing that I like the R is the one Excel sheet. You do not need any multiple sheet for your data analysis, for your statistical analysis, for your graphic analysis. With only one Excel sheet, you can perform all your analysis and very easily. And uh, and we, I will see you in trainings and how we can make a different sheet within ours. We do not need to copy and multiply our Excel sheet. We can do uh, analysis easily and then I already said that the missing values we can deal easily with the R software missing values literature availability I saw that many people are trained for you are many blogs are available websites are available our community is available to teach you and one thing is afraid uh, people I already said in many workshops that the, you do not need to develop coding all coding, all functions you want are already available on website. You have to just understand that how this code I can run that, how I can change these codes with my data. So in this training, I will show you that I will give you my codings and I, my data file and you have to change it in your assignments with your data and you can easily do that. And a logical operator in the uh, uh, so logical operators are uh, if values are outliers. If you see that the, you have uh, uh, data from uh, low data from literature or high data from literature, so you can skip this data within R's. You can deal with logical operators. I will show you. And uh, uh, last thing is, it's always all up updated. All functions and all things are updated in our softwares. And you do not find any functions and that is not available in ours. All very large community and a large programmers are working on in ours. Many books are available and you can find every analysis in our softwares. You can find it easily. So installation of ours. Uh, so. You have, I have given you uh, my videos and the links of that software you so you install it in your systems. So I uh, in the uh, today lectures I will also try to uh, installation on your system. Uh, I will share your screens and uh, we will install it. And when you install now you have to understand these are very very important concept. If you understand it then you will not a problem to run that. The, uh, when you open the R softwares, I will also show you in R these things, but uh, I will give you a theory uh, this time. R operates in four windows, window one, window two, window three, and window four. In window one is where we write commands. We write commands and we will uh, write our functions here. And in window two, uh, R save all these files. If you uh, all, if we, uh, I will write in uh, uh, next session uh, X is equal to one. It means uh, it will be stored in window two. Then I will press uh, X plus two. It means I uh, already uh, already know the X is equal to one. X plus two. It will answer you X three. 
So it will store in. Uh, this is the mind of computer, uh, mind of our software window two, and window three, where R will runs the command, R will you give you errors. So here's will run its commands and show you results. And window fours are here. So our packages are installed, and here also will your graphic all will be present in uh, will be show in window four. So R has four windows. Window one, where you will write the commands, and you will write here's commands, all your functions, and you will import, export all things will be do in window one. And window two is the mind of R software. If it, it will you write in window one, it will be stored in window two. And it's in window three. Uh, window three with commands will run uh, successfully, or it will give you errors. It will run successfully. It will be blue colors. It will be run. It will be errors. So it's uh, it show will be red colors. And window two where packages are installed, and here also plan graphic also display in window four. So ours is this is the basic structure of ours. How R operates, you must understand that. So next, uh, very very important thing uh, which will be give you most of the errors and errors comes out for that. So, so you have to must understand the difference. Uh, what is different between the functions and what is the difference between the package? Function is the uh, uh, I will give you today example is the WhatsApp. If you wants to uh, do video calls, if you wants to do a video calls, you have to function of WhatsApp. If you do not have WhatsApp, you cannot perform video callings. So it's a WhatsApp is the package. And what and in, so in mobile phone, we see we saw we say them applications. And when you purchase some mobile, something are already installed, something are not installed. So for video, I want to I purchase a new phone. I want to make to video calls. So uh, up to up to till I do not uh, install WhatsApp uh, applications in my mobiles. I cannot perform video call functions. So for all function, you need packages. If package in your, uh, I, I already show you in window four, packages not exist in window four, you will do not perform in any functions. So R will give you errors in that, that he could not that find that functions. So. For every function you need package and in packages many functions yeah, as in WhatsApp package you have you can text you can make a audio call you can make video call. So a one WhatsApp one package contain many functions. So you have to uh, know the difference between functions and packages. You must understand that concept. I say that many errors will come out uh, yeah, when you have to not package or, or cannot perform that function because he had no package in it. So you must know the functions and packages difference. And I'll say the packages of two types. Some packages when you purchase a mobile, some applications are already installed in mobiles and some yeah, like tutors and WhatsApp. These are not installed. So these are third party packages uh, which are developing by different peoples and that mobile company do, do not own that packages. So same uh, is the same is the concept in our software. Uh, when you see, uh, see in window form, when you install will install the R softwares. Then, then the packages are some packages are already installed, but some you have to install. Some background noise is coming, so please mute. Uh, some mic is open. Please mute all your mics. It is disturbing to others. Some mic is open. OK. So when you uh, uh, when you uh, install our software, it will show in window four that some packages are already installed, but some these these are called built in package, but some packages are not installing. Uh, we say them these are the third party packages, so we have to install that packages and or will give you errors that he do, he could not find that function. It means that the packages is not installed in our softwares. We will do it some. 
So we how we can install package. We can install package through command. Install dot package commands. We will do these softwares. And uh, when the package is installed, then the other step is you have to activate package. You have uh, WhatsApp in your mobiles, but you cannot perform calling. Up to that, you open WhatsApp. So far, uh, packages are already installed in uh, our software, but you have to activate that package, and it can be activated through library functions. So uh, this is a library, and you will put. Yeah, this install dot package and ITR. So you have to net package and so you have to write down here library and then this package will be activated. So you have to activate all packages performing functions and this commands uh, through this command you can activate all package in one go. So these are these some points you must note down in your notebook and must understand. Uh, and we will also see in our data sheet that these things will give you errors many, many times. Other if you if you not do this, you in your data files and in the name of folders, then R will do not perform your function and give you errors. You know, first step is the all files and data uh, all uh, R script and data file must be in same folder. These do, uh, do not be uh, data file is in, in different folders and our script is in different folders. And so R will be confused where I have to uh, import data. So you have to put all your materials, data file and R script in a same folder. They should not be in different folder and a different location in your system. If they will be in different locations, then R will be give you errors. Another thing, there should be no space between folder name or file name. If you are R folder, sometimes it's a single space, it's a double space. It will be you give you error. You can uh, write R dash R underscore folder names R dot folder. So you do not have to give space in two names. And no space would be in Excel. So in data file, when you not space in uh, your folder name, not space in your data file name. So there should be no space in between them. And no space between the uh, uh, same like treatment variable and measured variables. And uh, and I will show you in data file in left side alignment. This should be not be in center. If the data is uh, centered, it, it also creates space uh, before and after so all will be confused it's a single space or it's double space uh, and delete all other ex uh, except your data if your number or text are present in somewhere in your files or will read that uh, numbers are text and will give you error so your uh, data file must be clean and there should be no other thing except data so first you have to no space in folder name no space in file name and uh, no space between treatment variables and major variables. Left side alignments delete all other text in your table. So these uh, these things are very very important. R will uh, R is simple, but your data file is very important. If data file is not properly arranged, uh, then R will uh, cannot do some, anything. So uh, uh, people many, many times say that they have errors, many, many errors. We have to solve these errors. It takes much time. So one of the major reason is that their data are not properly arranged on Excel sheets. They have a different value number, text and other spaces. So they are some problem in with that. So that's a it's a uh, source of errors. So very, very important. So first step, you know, so today you will also arrange your data. I will show you my data so you can understand that. So your data must be uh, rightly arranged. So I show you data files. So. Uh, My Excel file is showing on your screen. Not still. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now it's shared. OK. So you can see that this is our data that we will practice. So you can see that uh, first of all, 
it's all data should be left side alignment. Can, can you can you zoom? Can you zoom in, uh, Doctor Sam? Is it a zoom? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. First of all, uh, all your data should be left side alignment. It should be left side alignments, so it should not be centered. If it's centered, it will or will do, do not understand that it's a single space or double space. It will give you errors. So first point is important to your data should be left side alignment. And other thing, there should be no space. I say say the nitrogen underscore rates, so it should not be nitrogen rates. It's a single space and double space, and you can see that in my all sheet plant underscore rights pad value and all these uh, single words are it should be attached with the uh, underscore so there should be no space between the words so that's why the, you have to arrange like this your data these are the treatment variables i will discuss in this independent and independent variables should be should be present in first of first uh, rows and columns and then your major variables and other things I understand the missing values. If you we do not have the uh, this value. So. You can see. Uh, if you have some missing values in your data, so left it as blank. So do not disturb us. Do not write anything, uh, anything. So left it's blank. If you have missing value in your data, so do not uh, write anything in it. I'll be skip out all that blank column. It's note that the, there is uh, some missing values in it. So and other uh, points I show that there should be only data set in your set and no other things. Uh, this is displaying on your screen. That's I write something on Excel sheet. Excel Hello? sheet is shared. Excel sheet is shared on the screen, but uh, we don't we do not see anything uh, you are rewriting in your Excel sheet. Okay. Uh, Excel sheet is uh, shared on the okay. screen. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Doctor Nasrullah, can you repeat uh, what I said in Excel sheet? What things we should be must be considered. Yeah, uh, there are some points uh, which must uh, which acts as a prerequisite before uh, running the R software. For example, there should be no space uh, mm -hmm. between the folder names, or as you explained, and all text should be you know at the left left side. If it is in the center, so it will confuse the R uh, to properly mm -hmm. run. Uh, if there is some missing value, you should keep should, you should keep it blank. You shouldn't write something like or some dot or something. Just keep it blank, a missing value. So some precaution you told us in your yeah. Report. There are no extra thing except your data in your and you do not have any in corner or inside. So there should be no uh, extra points and uh, extra writing text on your files. So your files should be only contain data. Sometimes we do um, uh, some calculations in uh, our Excel sheet and then we left this calculation on our uh, data sheet. So it will be source of error. Uh, you are importing a your data analysis uh, and your all data should be present uh, like only in one Excel sheet. So you have to arrange it. So you have one year data and you can uh, write uh, two year data below and you have three year data so you can uh, put this uh, mm -hmm. above and below uh, in one sheet so you do not need uh, multiple sheet for your data so yeah this is the data points No, my presentation is showing all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's clear we should do. So
OK, we will summarize our presentation and then we will move to the R softwares in the R software. I will explain that I theoretically describe here so you can understand that. So we are summarizing that uh, presentation that R software was developed by Ross and Robert in 1993. It's a programming language R is free and is more effective as compared to other softwares. R operates in window force. Uh, for performing every functions in R, we need a package. Packages are built in and third party packages. So some built in packages have they already installed in ours, but a uh, third party package you will have, you will need to install them. So data arrangement on Excel is very, very important to smoothly run the co course. If data is not properly arranged on Excel sheets, you will be not be able to perform your that uh, you are uh, uh, coding easily. So that's a uh, our PPT. Now we will jump into our softwares. So it's uh, displaying on your screen. Oh, are you uh, uh, our, uh, our software screen is displaying on the your screen? Yes, yes, it's display. OK, good. So you can see that. This is the window as I discussed with you that say R has uh, four windows. And when you install it and open our studio, our studio has a uh, four window, window ones, window two and window three and window fours. So we will. Uh, so you can see that. Uh, yeah. If I. X, I press X is equal to two and you can see in window two that uh, R know that X is equal to two. X is equal to it save in minds and in window three you can see that it display you X is equal to two. So that's command run successfully. Uh, now I press X plus one. So. So you can see in window three that R is uh, showing answer three. Uh, R know that the X is equal to two. So I press X plus one. It's I gave it answer three. No, I delete that X is equal to two in window two. No, we will see what. What will be happen if we X plus one, we will press it. So you can see that. Error X object is not found. So what is meant by that Dr. Nasrullah? Can you explain is why R is giving us uh, error? Hello. Uh, yes, Dr. Saab. Hello. Uh, yeah, yes, I can listen to you. Uh, yeah. How? What? Why X? Why uh, object because X not found? Why? Uh, uh, because you know mm, you first write yeah. X is equal to two, and when when you sum up X is mm. equal to one, it's, when you delete X, you know the variable. Yeah. When you delete yeah. the variable, so it's a bit confusing for the R to. To, to sum up the whole value. So maybe why one reason is yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, no, R is not understanding, but it did not know what is meant by X. So yes. we will again do that. Yeah, we will again do X is equal to two. So now we will press and you can see that no X, uh, X plus one, he it's give answer three. So you understand the uh, how these window are operating. So main concept you have to take care. So it's we run commands in window one and uh, it's a save in uh, window two in the mind of our software. You up to till you will delete now do not delete in window two. It will be same in the mind of our softwares. So it will keep its minds that X is equal to two. You will multiply it is divided. It. it will remain in its X is equal to two. So you must know that if you want to change the X value or you want to change your commands or you change your data sheets, you have to change the name or you will delete it from your window too. So sometimes people are very, very confused in beginnings that I am giving some data and are all presenting some data. So they do not delete previous files. So all R, R will read uh, that files. So this is the main concept. You must take it. Uh, Dr. Nasrullah, can you repeat it? Hello. Uh, yes, Dr. Saab. Um, actually, the whole summary of this is that we should take care of the commands. 
in a proper mm. way to execute the smooth function of R. Mm. Yeah, that's good. So you have to understand these three windows. And so how you are. Dr. Saab, sorry can... to disturb you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I have installed the RV, uh, R Studio, but in my okay. R Studio, there are only three windows are open. Window two, three, four, the first window in which you are writing the command. It is, I mean, I don't know why there is no this window in my R Studio. I have only the console one, you know, the, third, the second yeah. one, the third and fourth. But I don't have the first one. I only the writing command one. Uh, maybe it's a yeah, you have to yeah like this one. You have to minimize it. So you we will see. We will share your screen. Okay, and okay. We'll see it. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's yeah. This is the four windows you have to take concept. So no, I will show you. Uh, now it is the window four. See, you can see that the packages are installed here. So you know, I already said that the third uh, the built-in package. So these are are already installed. Yeah, I, I install. Uh, th these are installed packages. If you find to perform some function that is not installed in R, so you have to first install that. So packages are window force, uh, and then I show you. And window four also display you the graphics. So you can see that uh, graphic is in showing in window four on your screen. Uh, in a window. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's showable. Yeah. Okay. Good. So you can see that uh, your graphics will show in window fours. So your packages are there and you, uh, you can see your packages are there and your plots will be there in window fours. So you have to understand these four window. Dr. Moeed, can you please explain these four windows? Dr. Moeed, Moeed Ali, hello. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can explain in these four windows so we that the, our students are learning R. So that's a good. Uh, yeah, okay. the first, uh, the first window is the where we where we put the codes or we will, where we write the codes. Okay. I can. I can see the screen. Okay, now I can see the screen. Okay. And the second window, which which is the console, we call it the brain for the R. Okay, but and the, the third window, which is the environment. Yeah, that's okay. Good. And that's the, we are and the fourth one is for commands. Okay. For one is the where packages, the packages. are installed. Packages and our and for plot presenting the graph. Our plots, our graphic, all we will be show in window fours. Uh, yeah, Dr. Half, thank you, Dr. Moid. Thank you. You are understanding. So, uh, Dr. Safar Raman uh, are with us. Dr. Safar Raman with us. Hello, Dr. Safar Raman is listening to me. So. All students should be attentive. I can ask questions. That's a not a, if you are not uh, not understanding something. So we, we should repeat. So these are these uh, first and second lectures are very very important to know the basic steps. If you don't know these basic steps, then it will be easy to do uh, uh, coming uh, that is, that will some complicated. So you have to understand these basic things of ours. If you are not clear with these things, that's it will be giving you errors in coming lectures. So please, any others? Uh, Dr. Fahim, can you repeat us about the windows for four windows? Dr. Fahim. Yeah, yeah definitely. In a window four, uh, we install the packages and all the graphs uh, were displayed in window four. OK, good. And also repeat window one, two and three so that people maybe understand it. 
uh, window two is the brain, uh, so uh, we can add anything, and the window one is where we can write the command, and uh, window three is uh, where we get the error or the barcode we have. Okay, good, good. And last persons one can show us that describes one window and we will move forward. So I think that you know the four window concept and how R operate with these four windows. And last persons, uh, voluntary uh, who can, Assalamualaikum sir, I have a question sir uh, about the window first. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Sir, uh, when you put the code in uh, like uh, the x is equal to two, uh, the answer yeah. showed in the window number three. Then uh, okay. uh, when, uh, when the error, error came in, I can understand about the error. Can you please uh, and explain the error term please? Yeah, error. I say that when I deleted the x is equal to two, it's a mind of the R softwares. So that's why R is given. R, R when they delete x is equal to two, uh, now R do not understand what is meant by x. So when I put x plus one, so R will be confused that what I should understand and x and give you answer. So uh, I said that when you delete uh, your mind of the uh, R software in window two, so he do not understand what is meant by that. That's why it was giving errors. Okay, sir. That's it. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, so these are the concept of four windows. So you have must understand this. So Dr. Saab, sorry, before we move, we move forward. Mm, I still yeah. my R studio. I still can't open the first window. You know the command in which we write the commands. I don't by default or something wrong with my R studio. Or maybe it's minimized. Or... Can you show us on the screen how why the first window is not open in my uh, R studio? Uh, OK, that's uh, just two minutes. I have to finish that lesson and we will share okay, okay. your screen. OK, 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 okay. okay thank you, thank you. OK, now I want I have the, the data. I will discuss tomorrow how to um, import your data. I want to perform statistic, uh, a descriptive statistic from data. So I. That in, this is the function stat dot DESC for descriptive static. So I want to do a descriptive analysis of my data. So I want to run that. So now you can see that uh, uh, what is R saying the error in statistic dot DESC data could not find functions. So can anybody explain me from uh, my PPT why this uh, uh, error is coming out in? R by R is saying that he could not find functions. What is meant by that errors? Why R is saying to me he could not perform that function? He could not find that functions. This uh, what is meant by that uh, errors? I think uh, some package is not installed. Yes, Dr. Fahim, you are right. So, so I said that the Benny this type of error come out. Find function statistic dot. It's in, you know, could not find function. It means that uh, that um, function that package is not installed. I give you example of WhatsApp video calls. You want to perform video calls, but you do not have WhatsApp package or application in your mobile phone. How your mobile can perform video call? You say him repeatedly hundred times perform that function. Um, mobile phone will be say sorry. I could not have WhatsApp installed, so please install WhatsApp. Then I will perform video calling for you. So that's why you uh, when this type of error come out in your R's in window three, you understand that that package is missing in R. So next question is come out that how where I find uh, how I can know that where from, from I find that package. How can we find that packages? We do not know where uh, R is given. I could not find, find functions, and uh, it may we understand that the package is missing. 
The next step is where from we find this package. So this uh, you can find it's a uh, questions mark and you can write. That uh, functions and. And you can see that R has find out that package for you and you can see that it's saying in window for PSTCS that is the package and in this package stat dot DSC is function is present. So R will find out uh, that package for you. If that package is uh, it will be R will show you if not present not show then you paste this uh, uh, errors in Google's in Google also people will give you the way give you the name of package for that functions. So first you have to do double question mark and then paste functions and R will find for you that packages PSTEC is the package name and STAT dot EDSC that is the functions. So R has find out packages. So you have first to install PSTEC. So we will install uh, install dot package command and PSTEC we will write in uh, inverted commas and we will install that package through this. So. So know that R is installing that package for us. Now you, see, you are seeing that the R is installing that package for us. OK, that's package is installed. Other thing that we have installed in our phone WhatsApp. Now we want to perform video calls. What we will do, we will open that package. So we have we will open a WhatsApp, then we can perform some video calls. So you have installed dot package you have installed in your system, but the other step is the activate that packages. So you can activate this packages through library and paste this uh, package name and activate it. So you can see that. Activate what is mean by activate I will paste here. You can see that uh, in window four one minutes one window four will. Oh, window package is displaying in window four. You look at window fours. Yes, you can see that it's, a, it's a activated. Activate in how you know it's activated. It's, it's, uh, you can see that the package is ticked by library function. So when this package is ticked, and it, uh, it, uh, when ours will. Man, R will take our uh, correct uh, correct sign on it. It's means your package is uh, installed and the, now your package is activated. If your package is installed but not activated, then R will not perform your functions. So you have to do two things install dot packages and second one is through library. You have to activate that packages when you do these things then you will be able to perform that functions. So ne next we know we have to post a standard packages and then we have through library we have activate our packages. So now we will move to the now we perform stat dot DEC uh, descriptive statistic. Now we want to perform that. And now you can see that R did the descriptive statistic for us. So this is uh, you can see that in a single line commands are have performed all descriptive statistic for you minimum maximum range some median mean and that's why I am saying you know, through R you can understand your data easily. So you can see that in single line commands are to descriptive statistic uh, for you. 
so you have to understand uh, here's package functions how you will install the package how will you will activate how you will find the package and how you will install the packages and library and statistic dot dac so these are very very crucial and very very basic concepts uh, packages and function difference people do not understand i said earlier that in beginning they are much confused that their functions are not performing or is giving so we have to find that packages so that's uh, important to learn so can anybody repeat about that why packages that's a package functions how we can uh, find uh, packages uh, and what is mean by activations performing can anybody explain uh, yes dr saab uh, as you said in your presentation there we have two types of packages uh, first and uh, sorry uh, the third one maybe third party package sorry so some packages are built in in the system just like uh, when we buy some phones so uh, there are lots of uh, software which are built on but uh, the phone might not have some packages being installed just like whatsapp facebook etc in the same in the r some packages are uh, third party packages so just like you explained in the example that if you want to perform descriptive statistic for example median mode etc and our uh, um, R Studio doesn't have uh, these packages installed. So there are some very simple command we explain uh, in your first window, just like install dot packages, text, and the second is uh, activate. By these two simple command, first uh, from the first command we can find the R will find that specific pa package for us. So in the second step we can install it. And how oh, we can uh, find that this the particular package is activated. So when you go to the fourth window and we uh, find the specific package, it is tick mark. The tick mark show that the particular package is now activated, and we can perform the descriptive statistics. Mm, that's good. Uh, can you, Moilali, can you please uh, explain about packages? So. Can you please? Hello? Dr. Moidali, you are listening to me? Uh, yes, now I'm listening. Okay, good. So you can how you can explain about package and function differences. Why it's a package is very important. How we can find packages, how we can activate them. So briefly describe about packages importance and functions. So we know that you understand these things. Uh, yeah, packages hello? are uh, yes. Yeah, please. Uh, the difference between packages and functions. Uh, uh, packages, we find them in R. Uh, some of them come with uh, with R, and some of them we install them. Uh, the functions is what we use to run a specific uh, statistics or a specific code. This is the function. Okay, good. Oh. Dr. Sub, maybe we can simply say that uh, any software that we install is actually a package, and the sort of function it gives. For example, WhatsApp is a package and what is the function so we can do video call audio call uh, sort of these things so a software is actually a package and what it uh, uh, gives you that is actually the function yeah that's good uh, um, how how can you find uh, uh, if uh, some package is missing how can you will be find that package uh, if the package missing I could go to the console with uh, a double question mark and write the name of the of the missing package. So uh, R R will okay. show me the package in the in the force window with the packages. Then I could install and write the name of the package and then install it in the software. Okay. If you um, what is the other way to find packages? If R it's not giving showing you that package, what is the other is, uh, way to find it? Hello. Other way is what is other? Yes, other way is uh, 
is finding from the the install window near to the packages so i could write the name of the missing package and okay. i could find it from okay and uh, you can also google that fun uh, that package for that functions uh, google uh, in people will also give you that the package name sometime I, when i get a problem with uh, any package so i put in google and that i can find it easily from that so it's uh, you keep in mind that if some in trouble so you can find it uh, in google also that packages so uh, you yes. can find from okay good so any other person can explain us package functions so yeah definitely uh, and uh, window in window 4 there are some already installed packages in or so we are going to search that packages if the uh, particular packages is available in the r we will install it from the window 4 if uh, the package is not available that mean we should install it from the third party like uh, from mobile for whatsapp we go for the play store uh, same in the R studio we go for uh, the google to search that particular package and we install that uh, download that uh, particular package and install it uh, in the R. and uh, after installing that package that function will be performed that's good, Dr. Fahim. Excellent. So this is uh, and uh, and in uh, other uh, summary is also our functions, uh, and you can see that with a uh, single commands you can see the summary of all your parameters. So that's uh, we will do it in our next lessons that the so through summary you can see the minimum first quartile medians mean third quartile and maximum of every and from here you can see that the your values are within literatures are out of literatures i said that the outlier sometimes you have very difficult team and you have much much data so you cannot uh, find that the data either is within the range of the literature or is not within the range of literature so by simple summary functions uh, you can see your data and you can understand this data very easily in our software. So if you want to see any parameters and it, then you will uh, it is, uh, resemble it with literatures. So you can say that my minimum value is what is coming and what my maximum value is coming. So you can compare your data with the existing literature through easy way in single line command summary uh, data. Last thing I will uh, to the la uh, lesson is that I show that the, you have to activate your packages. So it's uh, not easy to do uh, it's when you have 100 or more packages to take one by one every uh, packages. So by this I'll apply uh, functions dot packages are available to its function. So this function through this one line function, you can activate all your package present in your library. So by running these commands, you will see that in uh, you will see in window force that's all packages are tick marked by automatically through these commands. You can see in that command is running. Yeah. So you can see in window four that R has automatically take and activated all packages for you with these single commands. It's uh, do not need to uh, tick mark every package for activation. So by this command, you can activate all packages for you. So uh, at the end, I summarize uh, today lessons. In today lessons, uh, we have learned about the R softwares, about the window of R software uh, in window one, uh, you will write the command and when window two is the mind of R software and window three R runs R commands R give you errors. And window four bears you, you can find packages if you find uh, performing functions and it's not, uh, uh, it's giving you errors. It means that package is not is present in that. So you, have, you will have to double question mark and in window force and write down the package and uh, write down the functions and R will find for you that packages and you have to install that packages and through library function you have to activate that functions and so to, through this thing i'll apply commands you can activate all your packages in one 
uh, one line commands. So I think uh, for beginners and for you that is uh, sufficient for you. So we have not to give all things in one day. So I stop here to the lesson and we will move and uh, tomorrow uh, I will uh, I will share with you notes of tomorrow lessons in morning. So you will read all that and uh, these all things are we are all present in our lesson one. We have discussed, we have given all things and we have also give you description of our, our all commands are present in your one lessons. So you have to find all these things in your lesson one. Please re read carefully and in the lesson one in PDF file, we have also given you assignment for today lesson. So complete all these assignments and put in your folders before uh, next layer before 8 p.m. tomorrow. So up to till anybody have some questions, suggestions, anything can share. And uh, next we will, uh, you know, our next uh, in our hours, we will install our software in your system. If somebody has a, a problem with installation of our, uh, he or she can share screen with us so we can give suggestion to him or her for installations. So we Thank will do some much. practice. Thank you very much, yeah. Dr. Saab. Uh, uh, the way you are explaining and uh, the way you are guiding us in our software is um, worth applausible and uh, very interesting. Um, uh, hope the remaining four days will be so informative just like the first day and we learn a lot from you today. Uh, thank you. I have found the actually I have minimized the first window so I got it. Uh, it's in the upper uppermost uh, in the rightmost portion here is a, a small icon minimize maximize so i put it i click it and the first window is now which uh, I, I can see the first window uh, thank you Dr. Sir. i have just one question i have just one question yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the last command you put you know when you put the last command l uh, apply um, uh, this one and all the software packages in the fourth window are ticked i have just one question if you look at the command L apply uh, the small bracket dot package or dot. So uh, you see the one dot available is equal to true. There is some space or it is it's without the command is without any space. No, the command is without any space. I will share with this script with you. I will put in a instructor folders and okay. data file and this script and you can find it. So commands are available. You do not to write that command. If you write, they will give you some errors. So I said that you oh. have to understand how these command run, not to write okay. on uh, these levels. So okay, okay. Just run. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, that's okay. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> if you try to write, then you dot, you bracket. If you miss any dot, yeah, as yeah, you yeah. see in website, if, if we write dot, dot, dot w dot anything double dot so it will stop so like that uh, r will stop you <laughs> so dr sub you mean that all this script is actually uh, written and we just need to know how to use this script and how we can modify it according to our own data you mean you mean like okay that? yeah 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 there are every commands everything's here available in net books and everything you will find to anything these coding are available you have to modify that mobile phone is made up you have to use it not to made it so okay, <laughs> okay. so th thank you very that's much, yeah thank you very yeah much. So thank it, you. it in this way r will be easy for you if you you will write and you will develop at that level that will be problem so that's okay. why people run away from R. So <laughs> they try to write. Them. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Yeah. Sub. We learned a lot yeah. from you today. Yeah, yeah. Boy will, boy will. Uh, I am my training. So you, I am making things very, very simple and from basic to advanced, so that you understand basic things and um, foundation, so we can move from on that levels. Okay. Thank you, Dr. So, Sub. Thank you. Anyone uh, further any comments, any questions, any suggestions so we can improve uh, uh, tomorrow lessons and you have to practice that. I will share this script and data file in instructor folder and also today recording will be also available. Yes, I have a one so, question. Yeah, yeah, Sayed Adil Sanj. Yes, I, uh, I, wrote, I wrote this command activate all packages L apply then all packages hmm. have been ticked and when I shut down the R studio and when I open it again, then they didn't it. Yeah, 
Uh, no, the, when you are closed, you you have. Uh, I explain through again uh, through WhatsApp. When you uh, sh shut down your phone, you have to again open your uh, WhatsApp. So you that's like when you shut up, shut down all windows, you will have to run this command again. Every time when you shut down our softwares and close it and open it tomorrow, so you will have to run this command again. OK, OK, OK. We have to run when it uh, uh, we have to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to uh, start in daily. So you have closed and shut down as like system. You have shut down. You are working on a world sheet and you close your system and next day you will again open that sheet and then you will start your working. So like that. Oh, but up sir, here is another question that once we install some package just like you, okay. you know, just like you yeah. told us uh, how to search a third party software, uh, third party package and then install it in the fourth window. So once we install a particular package, it will be installed forever. I mean, if even if, yeah, even uh, if yeah. shut down the yeah. our studio, it will not yeah. be vanished. Yeah. It it will be uh, for uh, forever for your uh, up to up till that you will install new version. When you will be install a new version, you will then you have to reinstall all packages. But uh, you are working in a same version, so you do not need to do again install it. It will be already installed. You just have to activate it oh, for uh, doing uh, functions. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, any have problem with installation of R, so you must install R software today. If you have problem, you can WhatsApp me, you can send me pictures of that, you can email me. So you must already, uh, you must have installed R softwares today. So we will move, we are going to do more analysis and more uh, from, from advanced things uh, tomorrow. So at today, you have to understand all these concepts and you must install. If you have problems, you can text me, WhatsApp me, and you can also email me. Sorry, which version of R Studio we have to install? It is R4.2, R4. It's OK, no problem with you. You can install front version. Uh, That's OK. The notes you have provided, there is something mentioned that sometime uh, even the most updated version doesn't work well. So we need yeah. to sometime to install the some older version too. So far, I have yeah, yeah, yeah. updated one. Yeah, yeah, it's a, no problem. It's sometimes some functions are not uh, doing it, so you have, you will sometimes we have to move previous version. So, but it's a, it's a very very rare chances. So you know that thing. Sometimes it's giving you to problem. Uh, okay, so the most advanced one R R four point one point two that you have suggested that one is okay for uh, for instance. Yeah, yeah, that's OK. Yeah, I am working with this version, so I am. Uh, uh, I have no problem with that. If I have a problem, I can move with the coming versions or past version. So if uh, things are uh, running uh, uh, quickly, smoothly, so you do not have a problem with that. OK, yeah. Dr. Sir, thank you. In your notes, uh, you have said that uh, for this brief status, you have to install Diplier, I think. Yeah, I, that's the pack. I, uh, I have to ask that is a third party. Yeah, there is a third party and you can install it. Uh, so many people have a uh, do descriptive function uh, different way. So some develop have uh, uh, the player function. Some uh, sometimes it can be do that and sometimes you have to install that today I have installed. So that's for example. So I give you a, some examples. So that's a notes in. So you can do with that package also. Yeah, yeah so it is not built in. Yeah, it's a, sometimes it's not built in. Yeah, so maybe in deployer can do for that. If we our deployers do not do that in a current version, so you can install that package. So it's no problem. Okay. Any other questions? So we are. Uh, yes, sir. I have one question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, regarding the, the Excel sheet, uh, the name of the variables, instead of using, for example, plant height or irrigation, can I use only one number or one letter, for example, A, B, C, D? Yeah, you can, one numbers are give you some uh, um, uh, underscore or the dot, uh, uh, so you do not have space between them. 
I meant well, well later instead of uh, yeah, 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 plant can, height, for you, example, I write only A. Yeah, plant height, yeah. You can write it's plant fine. height, yeah. You can write, or you, you do not know, actually it's a removing spacing, so you do not have spacing between them. Okay. That's the purpose of that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, Moirali, you have installed our softwares in your system? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have installed the software. I have it. Okay, I will share the, uh, that script and data so you practice. If you have any question, you can email us or uh, that's what okay. of me. Thank you, everyone. So, I think that there is no if we have a question, we are still there. We are on uh, WhatsApp, we are also on, so on emails, and so you can email us, WhatsApp us, any question. So please uh, read our uh, notes of uh, that lesson and practice, do all assignments and install all that softwares. So thank you very much. We will meet tomorrow at 8 p.m. Inshallah. Thank, thank you very much, Doctor, for today's session. Thank, thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Good thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.